<laughs> Urban refugees in northern Uganda and West Nile are requesting that the office of the Prime Minister relocate them to refugee settlements across the region in order for them to mitigate the challenges they face in urban centers. The majority of refugees in northern Uganda are from South Sudan, and a considerable number of them are urban settlers who are not registered with the Office of the Prime Minister and United Nations High Commission for Refugees. These urban refugees say they face challenges accessing education, food, and affordable health care, which are easier to access in designated refugee settlements. While addressing a dialogue on refugees in Adjumani, the chairman of the South Sudanese refugees, John Duke, gave reasons why many of the refugees in towns like Gulu wanted to be resettled. Most of the problems we are getting, you find people have failed to, what, to rent their house, they chase away from the landlord to chase them away because they cannot afford. You find also the feeding become hard. So when number two, uh, the, the, the children, you know, they are not been going to school. Currently, there are over 2,000 South Sudanese nationals living in Gulu town, many of whom are facing serious challenges. Last year, eight died of tuberculosis due to failure to access adequate treatment. The Gulu district chairman, Martin Ojara Mapenduzi, says the situation is worrying. They are failing to cope up with life. Most of their children have dropped out of school, are staying home. The women are mostly indoor. They do not have uh, ways of getting even food for their families. Uh, they have serious health challenges. Actually, within a span of about two months, about six of them died, and most of them uh, died as a result of chronic tuberculosis. So this, this is a serious concern, uh, not only for the uh, South Sudanese, but also for the population of Gulu. Some of Mapenduzi's colleagues led by George Mutabazi, the Ruengo district chairman and president of the Uganda Local Governments Association, are pushing to have the Refugee Act and other policies amended to include local governments in handling refugee affairs. These district council resolutions will be brought to Uganda Local Government Association. We shall take these to the local government committee of parliament and it, these are going to be used by members of parliament to help and influence on changing the Refugee Act. The Office of the Prime Minister and local governments were criticized for lack of coordination on issues of refugee management. There is a problem at the Office of the Prime Minister. The problem is that there is a general lack of coordination between local governments who us who are managing the refugees on a daily basis and the office of the prime minister we also advise them to go and join the camp where they can receive adequate services we are going to solve the problem of in, in insufficient uh, social services that are given to the locals and also those immediate refugees who are not yet identified the pressure of refugees is worse in some districts like moyo where they outnumber nationals, which places a burden on the district's health and education services. They think the issue that came like in Guru, they were saying, the communities were saying the refugees want to have to have love affairs with the, the national, but they don't want the national to have love affairs with their what? So that caused commotion. Meanwhile, the Minister for State for Local Government, Jennifer Namuyangu, says there is need to improve the refugee law to address some challenges faced in refugee management. We just need to find ways and means of improving our law to make sure that we handle it in the best way possible. Recently, donors expressed doubts about their continued funding of refugee programs in Uganda until allegations surrounding misuse of funds are addressed.